Drink up, drink! Ooh. And... The Moin Raiders. Ooh. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet life. You know about us. You, me? You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Oh, shit. We're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn No way, they're gonna shoot us. Mistake. Boys, get him! Oh. Ladies and do rise we. Of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. I ain't complaining. You are! Complain! Still complain! Not complain! Sure yeah, at least she got the bazoongas on. Okay. Let's get sleeping. I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you up. You put that Should I do something? What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back into another video of Red Dead Redemption, straight into it like we never left. Let's go. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Damn. She trucked him. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. Oh, this is the girl from the beginning. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here... I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. I don't even know what that is. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. We... And them things hunting us, so well, they got guns of their own. <laughs> I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. So I'm, not, I'm the mailman now, okay? Are you coming with me then, woman? She was really about to sh shank this dude. graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Hey, I, I do everything around these parts. I don't know what you talk about. Talk about something complaining. I'm over here getting hunted, shot, bit. You bullied. Down, man, yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. Oh, where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, Damn. Look, we're all hiding behind something. <laughs> How are we going faster than we're these dudes? Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. He doesn't start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. You got work to do. Yeah. Yeah, we got some people to wrangle up. Actually, I don't know what the mission is. I think it's just to mail this letter, right? For now? You are, you are, you are here with the big dog. What you got to say for it? She probably tough, though. Like, literally. She probably been already done put some people in chokeholds. 
I can. Day is dead. He's dead. He's not dead. You're the second, and I'm about to get popped. And I'm getting popped. I'm getting shot. And now this whole mission is done with. <sighs> Maybe we can still do the mission. Why the? F I'm turning left, but I'm going right. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's because this auto is auto piloting me. Oh my gosh! Get me off! Get me off! Get me out of here, bro. What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, you insane! I thought we was outlaws. I heard it. Yeah. Oh, idiots! We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Yeah, I already done. Well, to be fair, he shot me first. Uh, I did run him and his horse over, but he he got up perfectly fine, so he didn't need to shoot me. Um, yeah, we're gonna act like that didn't count. What's up, man? Hello, hello, hello. How do you do, sir? I'm doing great, big fella. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. Good right. lord, you look weird in the face. You look like that dude from um You look like that dude that 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 character Jim Carrey played. Um Y'all know what I'm trying to say? It was like Christmas and he could like teleport, I think. I'm not really sure, but Okay, no, no trouble. Thank you. Yeah. Bye now. You got a creepy little face there. <sighs> Had to show one of those new That's just how I feel. Let's get to little mama. She over here going crazy. Or is she doing? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's alive. Yeah, well, you know. Look at her being an asshole. What's happening? Things, eh? Let's just get on. Oh. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Okay, she being cool. No, never mind. Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. She kind of kind of sound like um Sadie. Not lady. I know. What's her name? So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. I'm not gonna hold you. hold you. My husband and I shared all the What's work. It? I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. Not running I people over. Know. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. Yeah, it wasn't our fault, though. I'm real oh. sorry. Don't get mad at me I about it. You, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. I like that. I like that. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Who is this man? Hey there! Please hey. don't tell me you saw who I what, what? Uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. They know what I did. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. Please. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No way. Oh, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I'm a shooter. How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Shit. How's about this? Oh, I knew she would do that. I got you. Shoot that motherfucker. Shit! Let's get the hell out! My, my shit wasn't working. They was gonna rob us. Whatever. I'm on your... I'm going. I'm a sharpshooter. I told you. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, you really did. Oh, that, oh I didn't mean to shoot your horse. I didn't mean to shoot your horse. Damn, he did not deserve two shots. Is there another dude over here? No. I'm going crazy right now. Y'all done messed with the wrong one on the wrong day. Oh. Yeah, I'm not paying no damn toll, bro. He got me effed up. I don't even like donating. I blew your head off, boy. Right in your butt cheek. You ain't going nowhere. Oh my gosh. Why am I going so crazy all of a sudden? Oh, I got that. Oh, I got that blam on me. I got them blammers. I know. I'm just. I'm looking at my blammers. Come on. Come on. Get the. Probably shouldn't linger here too long. Girl. No. Pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Oh. Hey, watch it. What? I'm putting you the guns away. Remind me not to get on your bad side. Can we pick up the pace here? And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But bushwhack. That's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Ooh, we were literally right here. You're gonna wreck the wagon. Uh, I know what I'm doing, baby. Are you gonna tell the Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Braiders? Yeah, I've run into them before. Some local gang. Don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway, won't you go upset and pierce about that letter? How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post. Anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The of mine? Of course you, you do. Didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, uh, they say I lack finesse. Look at the fit. I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Now, what I was saying earlier, I'm not gonna lie. I, is that her name? Yes, yeah, Sadie. For a second, she think? sounded like you Tiffany Haddish. About those two families, the rich ones in the big houses. What are you talking oh. about? Oh. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. I got you, coach. And when am I gonna see my ex-wife? I kind of miss her just a little tad bit. Hey, Arthur. What's up, baby? Yes, Miss Can I have a quick word? Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Never mind, shit. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. It's on your face. He, like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? What? You too, Charles. What are we doing? What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Whatever, yes. dude. 
You are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and Crazy. I'll only take a small commission for my information, but it's now or never. I mean, the saying can't never. be you barely know somebody oh, God there. God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here, where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get <laughs> shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Yep, sick in the brain. But that put that 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 blamma go bang. So that's all that matters. Did he call me mystical or miserable? Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. What? Get home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Ah, I'm in the bushes. I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. I did this with Micah. It's just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> I did this with Michael okay, once. Hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through. Yeah, we don't usually do this. We don't usually do this type of thing. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's should keep I get this my and clean. Oh yeah, yeah, let me get my thing out. Nobody needs to die here. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just oh, like I see the bait. Did we, didn't Dutch tell us not to do this? Never listen. Stop the wagon! Yep, I'm aiming it. Oh, they don't give a damn. Stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Uh, now, don't try anything uh, stupid. I'll pop you right up in that. Do anything unkind. Right up in your ear. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Cornwall? Cornwall. I definitely gotta blow your scalp off. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Look how fast I can do a yaka. Yeah. Pop blocker. Snick locker. All right. Are we getting in there? I see, I see. This would be a lot quicker if someone helped me. I'm right on your backside. What am I using? A pistol? Imagine that shit went. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Near a thousand, huh? I would love to have a thousand. Hey, think I say something! Um, I hear a whip. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Ooh. We got a long gun. That's a whole crew. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on. Company back there. Ride, fellas. Come on. Shoot those bastards. You call me a bastard. Which one of y'all called me a bastard? Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. Look, I ain't got no dynamite. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Is dynamite illegal to use right now? It's not. It's not. Do not let this get away. I'm about to die for the crew. Get rid of these sons of I don't know where I'm throwing it. Oh, this is the crew right here. I'm kind of... Where the hell are we going? <laughs> I threw some dynamite, but... Wait, hold on. If I'm looking behind me, hold on. Can I throw it? Oh, I can. I think. Nice. Oh, here we about to get the popping. 
you oh, I blew your horn. So sorry. Yeah, that's kind of. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Into the woods. Let's go. No, we need to find a place to lie low. Yeah, because they'll follow us. We're gonna go in this building. Scarecrow. Let's hide in here. Quick! Quick, let's hide. Get off your horse, tell them to get at him. Smack that. Speaky. Alright. Get out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Stay dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. So, I wonder if there's somebody in that house. Why am I sleeping like a badass? All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I don't know. Let's just keep this calm. Oh, snap. They robbing him. Is this your place? Kinda. Oh, shit. Uh, you oh, you gotta hold it. Nothing? Uh, uh... I, 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 don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't. Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises. Oh uh, no! We gotta go, y'all. We gotta go, y'all. Better not be. We gotta go, y'all. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the the bar. Uh, sir. <clears throat> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get up. I know I got some throwing knives. Look, man, we're gonna have to do this quick and easy. I want, I want Jose go out there and pull that dude. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't even know if Jose's with us. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Yeah, come on up in uh, here, see what happens. You head inside. I'll go around the back. You getting strangled? That or I'm definitely got a wig on. Oh! What the? He shot his own teammate. Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. What other dude back here at? Where the hell you going? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm getting out here. They could throw a bomb in there. We all done. Okay, maybe. Okay, nope. Never mind. I'm going in. I'm, I, yep, yep, I, I got you. Get down. Where that dynamite? Where that dynamite at, boy? I'm getting the dynamite. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. We're happy to keep That hit nobody. Let's use the regular P. They were sick as from finding us anyway. Oh, this is headshot. Oh. Oh. Damn it, they're climbing in this way now. Really? Hey, y'all y'all complete that side. I got this low on ranger. Maybe not. You going too quick. Can't really see him. Oh, is he right there? How about we stop robbing cornball for a while? I didn't know we were. Yeah, they're like the whole crew is out here. I stood up to do that. Oh, I'm stupid. Who's... There he is. I'm not trying. I got this side, though. Can y'all letting him shoot me? He got armor on. Oh, oh behind us. Ooh, right over your shoulder, Bill. See what I tell y'all. 
Damn it! They're coming in from the front! What's the front? Help me out! Ah! We got more on this side! Okay, 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 okay. I'm over here screaming because it hurt. Damn! That blew his head off. Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got it. Whatever. Right in your chin. He's still shot. Holy shit. This is what you call easy pickings, uncle. Easy pickings for them, more like. Oh, I did my research. All right. Yeah. Bro, we need to get out of here. It's going to fall on somebody here and knock them out. Oh no. Right. Oh, we're effed. I'm getting shot. Where they at? There you is. You grab it. You grab it. Let's head to the woods. Oh no, he did not do that. You saw all them dudes and you wanna fight me? No, you get beat the hell up. Fight him, Arthur! And he getting popped, punk ass dude. What you think you did? What you think this was? What happened when you try to be a hero? You die. Bro, I think we, you knew we lost them boys. Let's split up a bit. Try to confuse them. Arthur, we're the man. Get off of it's me. you. <laughs> okay, don't be breathing hard, though. I know how you is. See you already. Perfect. Slow your breathing. Perfect. Damn it. I guess I'm not the shanks, but. Okay. You're right on my right. We're, aren't we looking the same way? They said quietly. You see anything? Get down. Oh, I'm going to have fun. Come on. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going in. I'm going in. Execute. Stab him. Ooh, slice. What happened to your kill, dude? What happened to your kill, Bill? I think is that your name? Good lord, I just assassinated him. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm by myself. Wait, no, okay, no, they're up here. Okay. Yeah, I better survive, come on. Oh, wait, Bill, who is this? What's your name, Unc? Oh, I'm dying. It's like, need to. Bro, come on. Just shoot his ass. He already dead. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know. I'm new at this. Alright, so I need to eat some. I'm dying. Put it in your mouth. I'm not gonna, okay, I'm not gonna lie. A Kimbo is not cool. I hit nothing when I try and go a Kimbo. Sometimes you need to get aggressive. He alive. He alive. We all still alive. Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Come on, get out of here. Every man split up. Come on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Interesting, interesting. 900? I'm gonna get 112. Golly. Y'all gonna let me in? What do you want, boy? Sheriff's orders. Ooh. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? Yeah. And 
and I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it. No. Look, you can come in. Perfectly fine. Obliged. Well, he's about to blast me back. Holy, holy! Damn. I think he, he, he got. He think he got jokes. Oh, I'm about to see what y'all acting on over here. Are you the slave of these parts? What's your name, man? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Did he say Master Bo? It's not my type of... This is a plantation, isn't it? We back in them times. Can I pick that up? Nope. See? Hey, not there. Maybe a window. Y'all hear the mosquitoes? Hey, who are you? Huh? I'll see you at the sheriff's office. You look like an astrologer, astrologist. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. Anyway, we don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. <laughs> well, looking for something. I'm not don't liking worry, this. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? With Excuse Penelope, me. huh? Man. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope, but it's impossible. What I say? Love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity. Mm. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. You mind She's if like I take a peek? Tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, in that case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter. And this bracelet, please. Damn. We finna see what this Penelope look like. Ah, okay. And your and your guards almost popped me in my cranium. Even after I told them I was a deputy, uh, kind of a deputy. Where my horse at? Hey, you better follow that order. What? That's me whistling at you because you a dog. My damn horse at. Come on. This motherfucker stuck. Come on. Yeah, it's got me looking stupid. Bitch. Now they said he said that the, the guards. Ooh. So the my bad, my bad. My bad, cuzzo. My bad, cuzzo. <laughs> Damn, My horse does not like me. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> what? <laughs> How's that horse not dead? You don't see nothing. I just gotta get to the house. Easy. Go. <laughs> Looks so stupid. 
Why do I have this hat on? I look like Sherlock Holmes. Cool little, that's a cool little vault though. Sneak past the guards. Chill out, chill out. Chill out, chill out, chill out. I ain't got no silent things. So I kind of have to hurry. I think we got a spot. Yeah. You ain't working for the brace weights. You can't be walking here. I got you. Yeah. What the? Damn it. I can't shoot. Wait, wait. He said I can't shoot nobody. He said, I can't shank nobody. Get your ass out of here. Lee. Lee. What? Scoot girl. I about to say, this the last warning. I was about to perform animal abuse. <laughs> In the finest fashion. Please, please, you can't just throw your knife. I low key wanna. We should be good. We should be good. You might hear me. But if we get behind this shit, he won't hear me. Let me put the knife away before Penelope think I'm an assassin. Hey, Miss Penelope. I'm really about to see if you you fine or not. Let me see. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And not my type. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Why well, we don't are you so know wet? You. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from uh. From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so strange. Yes, he's a little strained, but also so human. The rest of I our hope families so. are stuck in the dark ages, or well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Ohio. You ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but don't the nobody like Ohio. Factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. Uh... I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. Mm. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. The errand boy. Errand boy. Leave the area without being seen. Ah. Uh. Oh, what was that? We gonna make this. Oh, there's somebody right there. So this the crib, oh, huh? This the castle, this the suite. No. We don't let folk wander through this property. Get out. Gotcha. Hey, hey, I'm just in Damn it. I don't know. Molly whopping it was going to make noise. Okay. I don't know. Everybody in. Damn it. Where's, where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, no. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? 
Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. That horse oh got God. pink lips. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They mm. bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse oh, wow. me. I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They're forcing you to marry your cousin? At one of those rallies <laughs> they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Come on, Arthur. Thank you. You can't let money control you. We better get going. You just doing anything just because they say they got money. He gave me twelve bucks for that. Talk about I got money. Twelve bucks. I can't even get no Burger King for that. Follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Let's go. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Let's go. Let's ride. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Oh, wow. What are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. She really bowed it. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Damn. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says you can drive the wagon. I love Calzone. Oh, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I right. ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? Y'all got blickies on you? Because <clears throat> that right, will ladies. be dangerous. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, yes ma'am. Let liberty reign. Yes, Lord. We'll whoa, whoa. Housekeepers and daughters, we cook the food and we fetch the water. Now, now. Take, take us down Main Street, me. right through town to the steps of the back of Rhodes, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Then then. Very good. Mr. Morgan. Are you an old friend of the movement? I'm uh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Uh, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Okay, so what if we start getting shot at? Up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, shit. Give it a rest, you sorry fool. 
Mr. Morgan, I'll give you the mail of the species. What does that mean? Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Good lord, bro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. Today, Damn, she got a gut back there. Begin to live as equal. equal. She's like a snail. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. What's going on this in the back? Natural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Hey, oh. Look at this, look at this big one. Hey! Oh, Wraith waits. Hello, darling cousin. Oh, never mind. Don't you ever speak to me like that? Shh. Look at that doing here? anger. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. It stopped them from ruining the speech. Oh my God, y'all are not gonna do this to me. Some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always were. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Or what? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not? Come on. How oh, I'm the homie, the homie that will blast Let's you go. in the back. Cause I don't like fighting from the front. We gotta go before they think twice. Let's go. Oh Lord. Come on. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Battlefield? Oh, he trying to fight. I got your cousin though. I like fighting them big ones. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope about to say. and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, deep. Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. Ooh. She were right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. They're lying to me. Well, he was drunk when he said it didn't, wasn't he? The sheriff? This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I hey. thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Better not be no 12 bucks. I need at least a 50. Mm -mm -mm. Help! Never mind, Dusty. You here? Oh, and he black. Oh, it's unfortunate. Unfortunate. If I can grab your ass, I'm grab. Oh, yep. Uh, what do you think you was doing? Oh shit. See ya. Oh 
over here trying to what? steal an old lady. Well, not an old lady, but over here trying to get freaky. Oh, it's a black woman. Get her out of my hands now. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, sorry. It's a joke. I can't stand being on this bus no longer. It's a joke. Okay, lower me down, please. Not a cool joke. Bink. Back your head. Dusty. Oh, yes, free. I got you. I got you. <laughs> what was he doing to you? I didn't oh, kill him. You came when you did. <laughs> I don't know what would happen. You just I get home you safe, ma'am. Yeah. Take that horse. I'm gonna go over here and beat this dude up real quick. Because yes, I that, can. Man. Because I can. What was you thinking, boy? Huh? Huh? What happens if I don't do anything? I just keep him on my horse. For the next couple of missions. We're gonna see what happens. I ain't gonna hurt you. You just gonna sit on the back of my horse for a while. Damn it. You cocksucker! You keep that up, you might. Christ. You might see him. You might see him, okay? You might see him if you keep talking crazy like that. I was told not to use no guns, but I wasn't told not to use no violence. Who's there? You are unable to bring prisoners. <laughs> so, whoa, 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 whoa! You know what? Get off your horse. What's going on? No. Oh, you're letting him loose. Wait, what? What? What happened? They act like I couldn't just chase him down and hurt him. <laughs> Throw him in the water. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? What's wrong now? What's up? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Breathway place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. I'm gonna need them to shut the hell up in the back. Goodness gracious. Howdy. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Oh. Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <clears throat> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good All right. Thank you, John. So what about we'll them Braithwaites? Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, the thing. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've yeah, been there. So sure do. So what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. Oh, right here. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. This looks... I don't know, that's kind of a vibe. 
here. Not the plantation. Here. Just, Mark's just, homestead, isn't it? just like the little driveway, okay? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? It's your alcohol. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Oh. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. Oh, who said you can get up on the horse, huh? You we'll be watching you. bastard. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Now you want to act like you don't know me. All right. Got you. Y'all got plants somewhere over here? Because I'm going to run them all over. Oh, he on me. What you want? Ooh, here we go. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. Some the way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Oh, she dang. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Damn. Pay the man. Gripping it. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Oh, what Drop do you think ten bucks is doing? Head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Is she all right next stop the road saloon not gonna lie Here she got go. that aura she got aura for real i know nobody double crosses uh, her those cornwall bonds got close to a thousand for them i wanted more but not that considering how hot they were especially after that bloodbath in valentine no not bad at all <laughs> apparently cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the pinkertons Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. And so there's the there's right. the old Driscolls. This could get ugly. Pinkertons. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town. This the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Braithwaite's and Grays. Now yeah. we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing, Justin. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's... idiot brother. I'll say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just... look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. You're about to make me crash. Smoke this pipe. <laughs> okay. Yep, I do not. Okay. Just a bit. Squint. This dude oh. got hurt. Hey, what about you? Shh, shh. You can't speak. You turned idiot. Oh, snap. Right. Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Fenton. There, there. Don't get mad now. Shit, I'm about to be the next Will Smith in this hole. They built that real well, that's for sure. They got me acting. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loves Fenton. you so. Fenton, Fenton, all that is wild. Strangle her in a rage, right? 
Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. No, wait, what? Did you just say I strangled my mama? Or am I tripping? Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. You you did boys, say that. How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. I'm stupid. Come along, Fenton. That is crazy. That is too close to Fenton all. Let's go. Come on. You nervous? Oh, I gotta go this way. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Goodness <laughs> gracious. And they think it's funny. Y'all deserve to get royally what just keep them coming raise glass raise bottle oh that's what they doing oh they're trying to make me look cool Another bottle, Fenton. These men are trying to do, my boys. Let's go. Well, I would hope so. Hope they not wet. <laughs> Drizzling it all over my damn finger. You're a fine man, Fenton. Fine man. Don't listen to brother. I like going all the way up. Y'all getting loud in this mug. Uh-oh. He said for 30 minutes, didn't he? Look, like it's been longer than 30. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Keep drinking. There's plenty more of that came from it. It's all free. Come on, Ben. They're getting thirsty. I see that. They also getting drunk. Gentlemen, he's not normally this slow. <laughs> oh, they want me to go fast. Just keep him coming. <laughs> drink up, drink. Ooh. Uh, Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet life. You know about us. You, me. You're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Oh, shit. We're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn. No way, they're gonna shoot us. Boys, get him! Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm both those sons of bitches. I'm not stealing no more, nigga. I'm not stealing no more. I'm a shark shooter in this mofo. And this, I got that fofo, and they call me the mofo. Who is shooting that? What is he shooting? Hey, y'all popping. Stood up. Ah! Yep. Ah! Nope. I still might be a little off the wonky. Ah! Is that you? Oh, that. Oh, my bad, bro. You just up there. I don't know why you. Oh, get up there. I can't move. It's like being weird. There we go. Who are you? I need to go up. Okay. I'm coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh, oh. Punch him, Arthur. Arthur, what is going on in this game? I can't punch? Now I'm almost dead. Arthur didn't want to punch. He didn't want to get the nuts out. Oh shit, oh shit. What's happening? We need to get the hell out of here, bro. Ooh. I'm getting us out of here. Okay. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? We are gonna make short work of you. Over there! Y'all yeah, like that. You feral bastards! What'd y'all call me? Coming. Yellow. Damn it, they're still coming. From the army. Hit the moonshine. We really don't look around here. There's more to your right. Man. He ain't talking no more. Look out, more of them. You done yet? We can't. You ain't worth my. Right. Hold on, let me get my other pistol out. Dang. Ouch. Oh, 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 oh. He got it, though. Yep. Made it. In front of you, I... Yeah! Hey. Think you can steal from us? Hold on. Does that thing blow up? Ooh. I also see him in front of me. Made it. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I do that. Pain is my name. So are we gonna keep? Yeah. It's one of your actors. We don't have to look around here. Now they need to get out of our business. Jeez. That horse is done with. I'm sorry I had to do it, but oh, going crazy over some alcohol. You see any more of them? Don't think so. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? That's what I'm saying. I it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay, pull off the road. Here. All right, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep <laughs> seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Wow. This, this store is heating what do you up. Think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. My On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> inbred exactly. is crazy. So what are you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? 
Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. The last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but Bro, we this is not gonna end well. We have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. What? Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. To your daddy? Some fucking business going on in the background. Hey, that was an amazing video. Amazing. Uh, but I don't think the story is going to end amazing. Hey, who knows, though? Uh, shoot. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload next. And Stay what do you from... want? But, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hitting in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. And you got a beer belly. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Peace, salute. Ah.